Hello everyone, in this video we're going to look at starter careers in information technology or IT. We're going to look at a couple of different jobs, five different jobs. We'll look at a brief description of each job and the types of salaries that you can expect with these different jobs. So let's go ahead and jump into the material and look at each one of these jobs. So the five jobs that we're going to look at, we're going to look at a web developer, a computer support specialist, network and computer systems administrator, a computer systems analyst, and an information security analyst. We'll look at the details of each one of these so you can get an idea of what the job really entails and also the financial aspects of the job as well. So let's go ahead and look at each one of these in detail. The first job we'll look at is a web developer. A web developer develops and maintains organizational websites by writing source code in HTML and JavaScript to build functional websites. Now, not only can this be an entry-level job, but there's also mid-level developers and senior web de developers as well. But for 2020, the median pay was 77200 But if you add in back-end programming skills to this, those salaries can go up quite a bit. But um, if you're lucky and you have some web development skills around HTML and JavaScript, you can get started as a junior web developer. And again, you'll get paid very well with lots of opportunity for expansion. So that's a web developer. Let's go ahead and look at the next job. The next job we'll look at is a computer support specialist. So these individuals will typically work on a help desk and they'll do troubleshooting for desktop computers really end user support in any kind of office environment. So this is really a great entry level job and a great way into an organization. And you'll be able to get into this organization typically with an associate's degree. You can have a bachelor's degree as well, but uh, the best thing is to, to get into this part of the field is to have really good customer service skills and really good computer PC uh, Mac or Windows troubleshooting skills. And so the median pay here for 2020 was 55510 and there's more information on the link below from the Bureau of Labor and Statistics. So let's go ahead and look at our next job. The next job we'll look is a network and computer systems administrator. So in this job, for an entry-level position, you'll be working under the direction of a more senior network engineer or senior systems administrator. But these people are responsible for the big picture for networks, network maintenance, new facilities they're wiring out, upgrades, those types of things, and working in a traditional data center. There's also opportunities now in the cloud for network uh, engineers as well, as well as systems administrators as systems are migrating to AWS, Azure, and GCP. 2020 median pay for this position, 84810 And again, there's a link below from the Bureau of Labor and Statistics that you can check for more information. The fourth job that we'll look at is a computer system analyst. And a computer system analyst, or business analyst as it's sometimes called, or BA, coordinates with IT and the business to really develop procedures and requirements for new system development. So the average entry level education is a bachelor's degree and the pay is pretty high on this position, 93730 And again, there's a link below, but these people are really heavily involved in the process of how the business works and is able to translate that into a form that developers can turn this into working code for systems. So again, this is number four computer systems analyst. The last job we'll look at is information security analyst. For an entry level position in this area, you'll need at least one certification, one security certification to break into this field. However, once you break into it, the median pay for this is 103590 And the demand is off the charts right now for security people, particularly those with cloud-based skills as major corporations, government entities are migrating to cloud-based systems. Again, the link below is for more information about information security analysts. So that's really it for all our positions. Thank you so much for your interest in this video. If you wanna see more material like this, please consider subscribing to the channel and please click the like button if you'd like to see more material like this. That's it for this video. Thank you so much and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.